these are three large pieces, three concert length pieces for small orchestras that I composed in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. Um, the, the earliest piece in this trilogy is from 1991 and the most recent is from 2004. This is a part of the William Schumann Award which they tell me is, a, uh, is in recognition of lifetime achievement, which makes me feel as though, oh no. Uh, <laughs> and it's a special joy for me to be presenting these concerts with my dear friend Stephen Schick and the marvelous musicians of ICE, the International Contemporary Ensemble, and the Jack Quartet. These are m musicians who understand my, my work uh, profoundly, and um, it's kind of a dream team for these concerts. This is a trilogy of memorial pieces that I didn't realize I was writing. That is to say, when I wrote the first of the three, I had no idea that this would become a, a, a trilogy of pieces in memory of three very important people in my life. The first is called Clouds of Forgetting, Clouds of Unknowing. And I started composing Clouds in 1991, following the death of my father. And I worked on it for several years, didn't finish it until 1995. The title is borrowed from a medieval um, Gnostic or mystical Christian text called The Cloud of Unknowing. And I was reading that text in the, um, in the aftermath of my father's passing. And in it, the anonymous writer talks about the life uh, of contemplation and uh, that it's necessary for the contemplative person to, to live between two clouds. There needs to be a cloud of forgetting between the contemplative and the world. And there's always a cloud of unknowing between the contemplative person and God. So that's the spirit of this, of this uh, piece. There I was trying to come to terms with uh, the mortality of my own father. And I would see every night in the winter the clouds of the aurora borealis the spectral green and red and sometimes violet and even yellow clouds of, of geomagnetic weather. And somehow there was a resonance there uh, between those auroral clouds and the cloud of unknowing. But the second is called In the White Silence. And I wrote it in 1996 to 1998 following the death of my mother. Both my parents died much too young. And In the White Silence is a 75-minute paean, a love song to, yes, my mother, but also to the high Arctic, which for me is the Holy Land, and specifically the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, the north slope of the Brooks Range in Alaska, my home. The third piece in the trilogy is called For Lou Harrison, and it's, it dates from 2004, and it was composed in, in response to the death of the great American composer Lou Harrison, who was a dear personal friend and mentor to me. Um, Lou, among other things, Lou was the first great master of the American gamelan. And shortly after his death, I had a dream. And in this dream, I, I heard very clearly music for gamelan and chorus. And I was rehearsing, conducting, you know, working on this big piece for, for chorus and gamelan. And I woke up, and it was quite vivid, and I made some musical notes, and I wrote some words down, and I thought, well, that's it. This is the piece I'm going to compose for, in memory of Lou. As time went on, I started to think, no, this is a really bad idea. 
I don't know much about Gamelan, and how can I presume to write my first piece for Gamelan in memory of the great master of the American Gamelan? So I let the idea go. And then along came another idea, which is, was a piece for string quartet, two pianos, and string orchestra. And that's the piece I wrote. And I worked on it for the better part of a year. And I remember sitting in my studio in Alaska, slowly playing through it at the piano. And I stopped. And I thought, oh my goodness, this sounds exactly like a slow gamelan piece. And I could hear Lou laughing at me, you know, in my, in my mind's ear. Um, there it was. It had somehow come into it. These are, these are huge pieces in my catalog. As I said, they date from the 90s into the early 21st century. So they're by now kind of middle period works, but they're, they're major works in the evolution of, of, of my music. And none of them has ever been heard in New York City before. And on top of that, um, they constitute a trilogy that I didn't realize I was composing until after I had done it. And the three of them have never been presented together anywhere as a series. So this is, this is a pretty exciting moment for me.